All right, I just got a new machete and it's the cold steel barong machete. And first of all, there's a little wood carving I did of uh, Clint Eastwood as he appears in a lot of his uh, spaghetti westerns. And it was kind of modeled after the uh, outfit he wore in The Good, Bad, and the Ugly. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. All right, let's take a look at the uh, Barong machete. <clears throat> First of all, uh, I do have a few uh, cold steel machetes. This one up here is the Bolo. It's called a Bolo machete. Pretty good. Uh, this one here is the Sax machete. It's got kind of a different tip on it. And my favorite uh, cold steel is the Bowie machete. It's got a 14 and a half inch blade. Overall length is, let's see, about 20 inches. I haven't been able to find any more of these. They're really, really a nice little knife. And <clears throat> the Barong machete, here's the Barong machete. As you can see, it comes in a really nice, real thick Cordura sheath. Uh, it's got a uh, retention strap up there. I think they put those things in the wrong place. Uh, but it's a really good sheath for the money. For about uh, 25 bucks, you get this sheath. And let's take a look at the blade. It's the uh, leaf style blade, kind of looks like a leaf. And it's got a, let's take some uh, specs. It weighs 23 ounces. The blade is three millimeters thick, which is pretty good size. I, can, I can't bend it. I'm trying to bend it here, can't bend it. So it's nice and sturdy. Uh, the blade itself is 18 inches long. And like I said, it's the leaf, leaf style design. And the overall length is 23 and a half inches, made of 1055 carbon steel, which is uh, really nice because you can sharpen it up pretty quickly. And it's got a polypropylene handle, which has got some really good traction. It's got a, yeah, I think it's going to be really good. It's got a nice, good, uh, big lanyard hole. You see right there. I'm going to put a lanyard. I like putting lanyards through these because sometimes they do kind of fly out of your hand. Okay, um, I will be doing a cut test with this thing probably tomorrow, but the blade sharpness, uh, it comes in what they call a utility sharp. It comes utility sharp, which is saying it comes really dull. I mean, I can, you know, slice on my glove and it leaves no mark. So I'm going to have to do some work on this with the grinder. I will be using a bench grinder on it because it's so long and I don't want to do it by hand. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a sharpening job on it tonight and I'll be doing a cut test. Probably a can cut test. Maybe some wood, but probably just cans for now. But yeah, I do like the uh, cold steel uh, machetes for their uh, expense. I mean, they're all of them are less than $30. And uh, you can really bang on these things and get your money's worth out of them. So that's the cold steel Barong machete, and I'm going to read the label that comes with it. It's an interesting label because here's what it says. It says it's the ultimate outdoor survival tool, and I'm sure the guy who made this, made this one, the Bear Grylls machete, would, be, uh, would take exception to that. This is the Bear Grylls by Gerber. Okay, so it also says that well it's made of 1055 carbon steel uh cordura sheath but the thing uh the thing i really recognized was it's it says it's the ultimate outdoor survival tool yeah well that's a i'm sure that's uh not everybody's opinion so that's my new machete the barong cold steel 23 and a half inch with an 18 and a half inch blade machete or 18 inch blade so yeah, I'll be doing a cut test on that tomorrow, and yeah, that's it. Knuckle bump.